the major issues are that the lowest paid workers are having their wages cut by up to 15%, which is an obscene amount of money in most pay cases, people's mortgage payments. Um, management have always maintained that all the museum's budgets is cut, um, so we've got to make cuts somewhere. We've asked, well, why don't you make them fairer? Why is it only the lowest paid that are being cut? It's a disgrace the way they're behaving. The weekend working that people do vary. St Fag and St Jr. now they do five out of seven. The Cotes Park, they do 47 Saturdays a year, and they're only allowed to take five off throughout the entire year. Other sites are doing uh, three and four. So, you know, you, you work in a lot of weekends. They call it premium payments. There's nothing premium about it. It's an unsocial hour payment. We, you, you're expected to come on a Saturday, on a Sunday. When I took the job up, fully aware of this. I've been working bank holidays, working weekends, but we get recompensed for it. Now, that element of it is being taken away. They said to me, look, we can't afford to give you a pay rise for the next two or three years. I would have willingly said, fine, we know the situation. But to actually take out of my pocket was already there. Never ever been in this in this position. Um, this is what, to me personally, this is what the fight's about. The lowest paid of all, and on an annual wage of about eight thousand pound a year. Um, the average wage for front of house member of staff is about fifteen thousand pound a year. So they're having a massive amount cut off their wages. Personally, it's it's, it's a loss of about two thousand three hundred pound per annum for me. One of my lady, sixty odd years old. She walks to work every day. This girls just walked up the road there cleaning girls on 11 grand and 12 grand and they get the same weekend payments as us. It's a massive wall up to these girls to the point where they've said to me, Pete, if they're going to take this away from me, I'm not going to be able to afford to come out with the work. Our director general is on £100,000 a year and he is complaining that he hasn't had a pay rise in four years. It's all right for them to say, oh, we haven't had a pay rise uh, for four years, but these guys have just gone in via taxis. You know, I, I don't think for one moment these taxis, the, the fares haven't come out of, the, of their pockets. And we actually call it the taxi drivers coming out, you know, and we asked, what's a fair pal, you know what I mean? So it's, it's like a 30 quid round journey. And they do this a couple of times a week. Yeah, the director general is renowned for it. Anderson is renowned for his uh, taxiing around the country. Whereas we've been taking day strikes here and there, we thought, as Scotland did indefinite action and had a resolution, we thought we would do the same. In Scotland, they issued an indefinite strike notice. They actually didn't have to take the uh, strike notice, and they uh, they were given a buyout, an average buyout of eleven thousand pound, and a reduction of the weekend working. Now, the museum to us are saying they've been very generous by giving us an average buyout of four thousand pound, with no reduction of weekend working. So, if Scotland can have it, mm. why can't we? I worked for fifteen years at. Merthyr Vale Collar, the Abba Van, just below Merthyr Tidville. Um, finished work there in, in uh, 90. Um, so I spent some time working in a factory yeah, and in Emma Vale, and the opportunity came up at Big Pit. 11 years, thoroughly enjoy the job, thoroughly enjoy it. Meeting people from all around the world, obviously schools, people that are interested in tracing their ancestry. They want to see where their fathers, their grandfathers work, the sort of conditions. The Deputy Minister of Culture, he actually came to the pit. I took him on the ground on a tour, you know. Uh, first time there, was absolutely amazed at what he saw. And he actually made a statement that every child in Wales should be made to come here and witness the, the, the sort of um, the history of, of... And I said, well, look, you know, it's your name. It was on the bottom of the sheet that, that actually signed out the fact that they want to take our weekend payments from us. <laughs> We're doing fundraising things to help with our strike fund. We managed to raise a thousand pound last weekend. Um, the 38 degrees petition so far, I believe, has raised about four and a half, five thousand pound. Tesco says every little helps. <laughs>